This is Robert F. Worth for the New York Times in Dubai. Winter's usually the high season in Dubai, when hordes of shoppers and sunseekers come to enjoy the balmy Gulf weather. But when I came here to report on how the financial crisis is playing out, I was struck right away by how quiet it seemed. The roads here are usually jammed, but this time I found them mostly clear. Dubai has built its image on economic growth and opportunity. Luxury cars have become one of the most treasured spoils for foreign workers, who make up 90% of the population. Now, as Dubai suffers from tight credit and lost jobs, many people are as eager to get rid of them as they were to buy them in the boom. At car dealerships, there's a surplus of lightly used cars, many of them selling for 40% off. Some aren't even bothering to sell. Some fleeing debt-ridden foreigners are abandoning their cars at the Dubai airport. At this government-run auction, where abandoned and repossessed cars are sold, business is brisk. In the auction today, especially, I, I, I saw few cars. They, they seem to be very attractive to me. Uh, they are much less than outside. I can give you that the list of the cars, which is for auction today, is 100 cars, which is very normal at this time of the year. While reporting, I heard many panicky rumors about the downturn. Some plausible, some clearly exaggerated. But the government's refusal to provide economic data appears to be encouraging the rumors. You don't know it's whether truth or not truth. Ibrahim al Suhi started a job repossessing cars three months ago. He hasn't noticed a substantial rise in business just yet, but he does predict a big drop for Dubai's economy. If you put it together with a, a lot of layoff now, you believe the story. No one knows exactly how bad the Dubai economy has gotten. But at the auction last week, it was clearly a buyer's market.